Pseudo Five Focus is brought to you in part by Nonprofit Connect. Nonprofit Connect provides superior leadership tools and resources so nonprofit leaders and board members can make valuable decisions to move their organization forward to a sustainable and vibrant future. More information on services online at nonprofitconnect.org. Welcome everyone to 805 Focus. I'm Dr. Cinder Sinclair with Nonprofit Connect, and we will be bringing you the latest on your favorite nonprofits. So get ready to be inspired. Our special guest today is Carrie with Downtown Santa Barbara. Welcome, Carrie. Thank you for having me. Gosh, I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. You know, I have been hearing all kinds of exciting things that are going on downtown Santa Barbara, mm -hmm. but also are planned for the future. And mm -hmm. everybody's getting into the act, giving their <laughs> ideas and all that. Yeah. So I can hardly wait to hear the latest scoop from you. <laughs> well, I hope that I have it for you. Um, I think sort of what happened was, uh, it sounds like last August, um, a lot of people came to the city council and said, we need to do something about downtown. There's a lot of vacancies. Um, there's a lot of homelessness issues and things like that. And what are you doing uh, to help our downtown area? And the city's really responded in a positive way. Um, so they've hired consultants to do an economic development plan. But in addition to that, they've really sort of been responsive with our organization as well and how we can come up with ideas to, to uh, bring new ideas to the table for downtown revitalization. Um, so sort of working a lot of this stuff behind the scenes, but one of the things that we sort of worked on uh, in front of everybody was this experiment weekend that happened yes. uh, just recently. Yeah. That was just, yeah. yeah, just recent. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to do more of those? Um, absolutely. So, you know, that one was really uh, the brainchild of Nina Johnson, who's an administrator with them, uh, the city manager. Um, and, and she came to the downtown organization and said, I have this really great idea. Um, and we were really receptive. So what we did was just sort of add um, support and background to what they were doing at the city to try to accomplish this. And it was really sort of a, a, a plan to see what would work um, in the downtown area, what activities would work, what street closures would work. Work, mm. um, but also how to get things done administratively through the city. So it was sort of a test to find out a lot of different things. And I think uh, we found out a lot of things during that process. Um, one of them was sort of is the administrative part that we're still, we're still reworking uh, through as an organization with the city uh, to come up with some, some easier solutions to get things done and, and how we do street closures and place making events. Um, what happened on the street was um, un the underpass on Friday was closed and they had a big sort of dance party with an interactive light display um, and the Arts Fund uh, was the one that put that on with the city. Okay. Um, and then they had a wine garden and it was just a really interesting sort of cool happening and it might never happen again but oh. it's so great that it happened the once. Yeah. So they closed the entire underpass um, down to traffic on State Street and they just had a big party on Friday night. It was really well attended. I think they had over three to four hundred people from what I've heard um, estimates that were down there in and out throughout the night. And then on Saturday, um, they closed the 400 and 500 blocks of State Street and had sort of a, a party on the, a block party on the street. Um, so we had basketball goals, um, ping pong tables, a petting zoo, an unofficial <laughs> petting zoo, which was just dogs, and that was amazing. Um, so we just had a lot of really cool events up and down State Street. And what we found out from merchants is that it brought so many people down, not just to the 400 and 500 blocks, but uh, people in the entire downtown experienced huge days on Friday and Saturday. Um, so news. it wasn't just in the closure area, but also throughout downtown. So what we learned is that street closures really work. There's a way to do them. And, and how do we bring this um, activity out more? So we're sort of working on some other pilot programs with the city um, to do some more street closures and also just some interesting um, other ideas like pop-ups um, that Nina's worked on uh, with this last experiment weekend and some other things to get things moving. Outside of what we're doing as an organization, there's already, if you haven't been to downtown recently, um, please come down because there's an energy, there's things going on. We have a lot of restaurants opening, we have a retail opening, and we're seeing a real tech boom in downtown right now. Oh, really? Um, we have a lot of tech companies that are coming in and locating. I think sort of the, the uh, big secret one um, <laughs> that everybody knows about is Amazon. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, and they're currently redoing their building and then hope to open by the end of the year. Um, we also have some other ones that are just coming in. 
in um, Honey Science is one of them. In Boca is moving to State Street. So we have this influx of other ones. And I think um, the last testament I saw, there were 70 tech businesses in our downtown area. Wow. And what's really great about those is that they're bringing um, it sort of uh, tech workers down to our area, which means we've got, um, they need to shop someplace, they mm. need to eat someplace, they need right. to live someplace. So there's just an energy that they're creating too in our downtown area. People want to work and live um, in our downtown. And I think that's exciting as we're seeing uh, just recently. Wow, you yeah. are <laughs> a, lot <busy>. of, <laughs> a lot of stuff going on, yeah. yeah. But you know, I think that a lot of people don't realize all the work that downtown Santa Barbara does, yeah. all the different projects, mm -hmm. like the parade and all these things. Maybe yeah. you could tell us a little Absolutely. bit about that. Um, a lot of people I've heard just coming in, I, I'm just new to my position in December, and what I've heard is a lot of people think that we are a part of the city. And we have a lot of partnerships with the city, but we are a separate nonprofit. Um, so we're a 501c3 or, or 501c6 organization, and we have um, members, um, which are merchants that are on, in our downtown area. Mm -hmm. um, so we um, are funded through a, a, a business increment district fees, business license fees that are paid to the city, and we get a portion of that to help fund the promotion of the downtown okay. area. Um, we also have uh, fundraising and sponsorships and events and other things that help uh, boost our income so that we can promote better in the downtown area. Um, so uh, a lot of people don't know that we do the cleaning for the downtown area. So all of the guys that you see up and down State Street are a part of downtown Santa Barbara, oh, and they work okay. to beautify the area. And they've yeah. done a really big push lately to do mulch and uh, plantings and things like that. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see a lot of them around. They also do a lot of power washing and a lot of... Um, stuff that other people don't want to deal with or do, um, yeah. they sort of take charge of that. So that's really great to have. Um, the FLAG program used to be a program of the city in downtown Santa Barbara, took that over mm, many years okay. ago. So that's one of our programs. And those change weekly. And they're nonprofit organizations that can mm -hmm. have a flag up and down State Street. It's a huge amount of exposure for the nonprofits, and it makes the downtown look beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a great project. Um, we also have an event coming up at the end of May called Live Art and Wine, mm -hmm. um, and it's sponsored by the Tobes Group this year. Um, and it's uh, we do the first Thursday events, and this one is oh. really first Thursday on steroids. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's a really exciting. big event. We have 11 um, art venues and galleries, and we have a live art component that's going to be happening in each of those galleries. In addition, they're also serving um, wine or um, alcohol or beer, and a, a restaurant is paired with that uh, mm -hmm. gallery. Um, so then we have Great. a final party, which this year is going to be at the Arlington Theater, oh. and we have more wine and <laughs> beer and food at that party, and then DJ Darla B is going to be DJing oh, it, and we have so a good. lot of, yeah, really um, neat artistic um, events that are going to be happening in that, that front atrium of the Arlington. So it's just going to be a really neat event, and what's nice about that event is it's a fundraiser for our organization, mm -hmm. but it's a fundraiser for our public art fund. So all the pianos oh, on State nice. Street and some of the really cool, um, we're, we're going to be working on some more public art uh, events going on in State Street, and that's uh, that oh. event funds those, those projects. Um, so there's a lot of really neat things coming up. We also, uh, again, like you mentioned, do the holiday parade, mm -hmm. um, and that happens in December, and it's such a great event. And this year, it's we have sort of a, a, a three-hitter because we have um, – Small Business Saturday, which is the event after Black Friday, so oh. it's to get people downtown to shop at, at small retailers and, and eat downtown um, at the small uh, restaurants and, and that sort of thing. Then the next day we're having a First Thursday event, and then we're having the holiday parade. So oh, it's going to be back to back to back. So everybody's going to be downtown for an entire week, and it's going to be amazing. So you're gonna uh, be yeah, girl. we are going to be busy, but it's going to be really fun. Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so a lot of cool things coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So, and right now, as an organization, we're doing um, strategic planning. So we're looking at a oh, five-year plan. Oh, that's good. And what's interesting about that five-year plan is that coincides with the rebuilding, uh, with the uh, the earthquake in downtown and the rebuilding of downtown. Oh. So it's kind of an interesting milestone that we're going to be highlighting and, and um, uh, working towards a revitalization plan that will sort of conclude in 2025 and, of wow. course, go on past then. But um, that's sort of our end marker for that. So we're sort of coming up with new, innovative, and, and cool ideas right now that's going to take us through the next five years. 
it sounds like our downtown is getting really <laughs> energized. It is, it is, it is. It is. We're looking for a lot of really good energy. You know, we have a lot of young entrepreneurs that are coming up and creating this energy in the downtown. And I think our organization is just feeding off of what they're doing. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of good synergy going on right now. So do you have any sense of what sparked all this energy? I, 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 you know, not being here for so long, I, I don't know for sure, but I feel like, you know, a lot of the times there are downtowns that sort of, uh, you see a period of, of downside and then they see a boost. Right. And I think because so much has been invested from citizens and from the city in talking about revitalization and doing things that we're seeing some of this. Mm -hmm. I also think uh, the emergence of the funk zone mm -hmm. really created, uh, you know, a, a community uh, in the funk zone and, and we're seeing some trickle over from that onto State Street. Yes. So some of the lower State Street and those businesses that are opening up are creating that same energy for State Street. So and then it just kind of snowballs from there. Itself. It does. Yeah, yeah it really does. Um, this is a, it's just a really neat time to be involved with the downtown organization. Gosh, well, it sounds like it's so great that you're here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. So uh, we have a couple minutes left. Is oh. there any other message you would like to for the audience to hear? Oh, sure. You know, when I when I got here, there were uh, a lot of people I talked to that said, oh, I don't go down to State Street or, oh, it's not oh. safe or, you know, or, or even into the downtown area. And I just want to encourage people to get back to the downtown. Yeah. There are a lot of new businesses that have opened up that, that you probably haven't seen or, or know about. And maybe just take a day to walk up and down State Street. You know, we've really made an effort as an organization to be proactive and to work on the, the vacancies and the homelessness mm -hmm. issue. And I think the more people we get downtown, the better those are going to be. So I really just want to encourage everybody to get back downtown and enjoy our, our beautiful downtown. Yeah. And it is truly one of the most unique and, and special downtowns in the entire United That's States. That's really true. That's really mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. Created by visionaries, and we're yeah. really lucky that they were there. And it sounds like more and more visionaries yes, are yes, gonna, especially uh, you know Paseo Nuevo is just doing yeah. their renovations, and right. that's going to be beautiful as well. So it's just yeah. we're coming along. There's a lot of great energy and, and ideas in the downtown yeah. area. Good. Well, um, I want to thank you so much for thank coming you. on 805 Focus and sharing all this exciting news thank with us. Thank you. Yeah. And we're and so I want to invite you downtown. I, I'll be there. <laughs> great. Great. I'll be there. Yeah, and I'm so glad that you came here to Santa Barbara to take this job yeah. because I can tell yeah. that you're part of that energy that's oh, coming Oh, thank along. you. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I feed off of our, our young entrepreneurs and our, our yeah. merchants. Good. Well, thank you, Carrie. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on 805 Focus, and we'll see you next time.